Hello friends, welcome to Civil Team. Today we are going to see about some important MCQs in surveying, which is repeatedly asked in TANSET, IAS, GATE, and government exams. The number of satellites involved in the orbit for the GPS survey technique is 24, and the minimum number of satellites required is only 4. Tachometric surveying eliminates the chaining. Because in tachometric survey, surveying, the distance is measured by instrument itself. There is no need of any separate instrument to measure the distance. Close to contours with higher value inside represent the hill. Depression means decreasing value towards their center. The type of surveying which requires Least office work is called as plane table surveying because both field work and office work are done at the site itself. International data line is located along 180 degree longitude. The international data line is located along 180 degree longitude. The next question is if the whole circle bearing of a line is 100 degree. What should be the quadratic bearing and which quadrant it is lying? The solution is first we need to find in which quadrant the whole circle bearing is lying. Here the 100 degree is in the second quadrant. Then the formula used is the quadratic bearing is equal to 180 degree minus the whole circle bearing that is 180 degree minus 100 degree that is 80 degree. If the angle lies in the fourth quadrant, then we should subtract from 360 degree, that is, quadratic bearing is equal to 360 degree minus WCB. To find out the quadrant, we should always from taken from north or the south. That means, if it is a first quadrant, we should say from north to east. If it is in second quadrant, we should say that from south to east. Angle between the line of collimation and the inclined line of the site is called as vertical angle. Then the declination is defined as the angle between the true meridian and the magnetic meridian. Then the bearing is defined as the horizontal angle between the reference meridian and the line. The linear measurements are taken by all the above. That is by means of facing, perambulator and chaining. Facing means the measurements are taken by foot. Perambulator is a device used for measuring the distance and it is also known as click wheel or hodometer. Chaining is an instrument used to measure the linear distance. There are two types of chain we can use. 20 meter chain and 30 meter chain. The most accurate method of orientation by the three point method of plane tabling is the trial and error method. Which instrument is used in trigonometric surveying? The answer is the theodolite. Then the compass is used to find the direction. Dumpy level is used to find the Height of the land masses. The angle between the true meridian and the magnetic meridian at the time of observation is known as magnetic declination. If the magnetic meridian is to the right side of the true meridian, the declination is said to be positive. If it is to the left, then it will be the negative. The type of surveying in which the curvature of earth is taken into the account is called geodetic surveying. surveying. The hydrographical surveying means the surveying which deals with water bodies. Topographical means the surveying which deals with the land which includes both artificial and the man-made futures. Here yeah, metallic tape is made up of cloth and wires. The metallic tape is made up of cloth and wires. The 
angle of intersection of two plane mirrors of an optical square is 45 degree. In the single optical square, it contains two reflective planes inside and the angle between the two planes is 45 degrees. Thank you for watching our video. For more video, subscribe our channel.